right, so here we are, November 1st, 2019 at Les Schwab, and Rosina is getting six new tires because she really needed them. We'll show you, the, you'll see that picture of the spare. Let's give a little walk around. Oh, and we were also told, can you explain that about how one side they're threaded differently so you would be loosening to tighten? Oh, yeah, on the driver's side, let's not start reverse thread. Awesome, thank you. We can always reference back to that. Yep. <laughs> if we have a roadside emergency. Lovely. converter to a newer progressive dynamic lithium, char lithium charger and we are installing a Renogy DC to DC with MPPT solar charger and we have looked and looked and looked to see if we could get any help with this on YouTube and really was not able to find much. Our problem is, well not really a problem, but what we ran into is we have the starter battery over here, the coach or house battery over here, the manual for the Broham says that there's a battery isolator that will allow charging of the house battery while driving through the alternator. Well, we found nothing that looks like an isolator, but what we have found is this right here, which I assume is a split charge or solenoid charger. I'm not really sure, but we have been able to isolate this one wire here and this is what sends the DC charge over to this solenoid. We decided we're going to leave this hooked up because it also controls the power locks and there's a DC disconnect inside the coach that's all hooked into this same solenoid. So we're going to leave it in place, but we've disconnected power, or at least the charge from the other battery. Now, according to Renogy, that's what we needed to do. So, oh, and like I said, we're doing this because we were also told by Battleborn that we needed some kind of a isolator or DC to DC charger that's 50 amp because we're only getting 100 amp battery or amp hour battery and that if we 
use that lithium battery in this current situation where it charges directly off the alternator that it would be overcharging the battery. I'm sure there are others out there that know much more about this than I do. So we're in the process now of installing the breakers needed for the DC. up here over the doghouse. Um, we're in the process of making a table top that goes over this so this will look nice when it's done um, and running those wires. King on. <laughs> this is what happens during quarantine. So we've also recently upgraded the char we replaced the fuse panel with the progressive dynamics. Um, and we put in the bottom converter charger so that's all nice what originally came in here was just a very small panel with the little glass tubes hard to find and for those of you who are not familiar with the broham I might be saying that wrong I'm gonna say that a lot this is the inside of it I'm standing in the galley right now we do have a wet bath in here the toilet sink around the corner and a shower it's small but we've used it quite a bit and i tell you what i appreciate it and we have the one with the door in the back which is really quite nice and the little galley area we have a stove oven a lot of stuff in here that still is getting needs to be cleaned out and sorted. It has an Innovator series refrigerator in it, and surprisingly, it still works. Uh, so we're not replacing that until it quits working. And surprisingly, it has quite a bit of room. But the power system been pretty uh, outdated right now we just have this little set up here for monitoring the batteries we'll have to get a new system put in but for now at least that gives us an idea and it didn't cost much at Harbor Freight I wanted to bring this in the house there's a little vacuum I do believe he's trying to get that fuse put into place. This is the front. We have a dash cam and the halo view. The rear view monitor. That's really quite handy. It's a pretty good shape when we got it. We have to get six new tires. We get the tune up. And then little fix-its to things that weren't working real well. But other than that, she's running pretty good. It's just upgrading now. I'm trying to find a place to mount that breaker. Yeah, looks like you got it in. Yes, I do. Awesome. I need to get snugged up a little bit. Think we need two holes? Or just leave it with one hole. Two. Okay. 